I'm ranking 13 pairs of Chelsea boots that I own from worst to best. The worst of the bunch, this one right here, it is probably also the most popular of all the boots on this list. It is the Blendstone 500 coming in at number 13. So I actually don't even think this is that great of a boot. Now there are some benefits to it. It is waterproof or, or theoretically is waterproof. Now I have tried a couple tests with this particular Blendstone and this one does leak through all the way through. So it's not even fully waterproof. So that kind of debunks that. But overall, Bluntstones, I will say a lot of people have very positive experiences with them. I see these boots probably more than any other pair of boots out there. They're probably more popular than even Timberlands, definitely Red Wings. Uh, these are one of the most popular boots. But ultimately, while it's a decent work type boot, I don't think it looks all that great. Not even waterproof a lot of times. And once it falls apart, once the sole falls apart, it's done. Next on my list, this is the least expensive Chelsea boot that I own. Uh, so it makes sense that it's a little bit lower on this list. I still like it. I still say this is one of my favorite boots under $100. This is the New Republic Sonoma. And I think this is an amazing alternative to honestly common projects. Uh, they have their Chelsea boot that looks very similar. This is kind of an homage, if you will, but it's definitely kind of copying the common projects look. I actually kind of like the cheaper version, the New Republic Sonoma better than common projects because you have this crepe sole. If you wear this for any length of time, even on the common projects, like crepe rubber is just gonna get super dirty really fast. You have this very light tan suede. This is also going to kind of get dirty pretty quickly. So I think you'd get more wear out of four pairs of New Republic Sonomas than you would one pair of Common Projects. You'd have to baby those things because they're so easy to get dirty. And with the crepe sole, there's not even anything you can do on that one that, that's going to get dirty for sure. So uh, number 12, New Republic Sonoma. The next on my list, I don't even own anymore, but I tried it out for a little while. Wasn't a huge fan. It's the Jack Irwin Chelsea boot. Ultimately, it was it was a decent boot. It was okay. The Jack Irwin is a brand. I just didn't get much personality from them. The boot was decent, but it didn't stick out to me. It wasn't so great. So at number 11 is Jack Irwin. Next up, this is the least favorite of my Thursday Chelsea boots. However, I, as you can see, I have worn this boot a, a decent amount, put in a lot of miles with this. This is the Thursday. Thursday Cavalier. This comes in at number 10 on my list. And ultimately, the Thursday Cavalier, the reason why, and you can watch, I have a video popping up right here that explains, uh, it's me comparing like the Thursday Legend, the Duke, the Cavalier, all those boots together. The Cavalier kind of was at the bottom of my list because it's got the thinner leather outsole. It does have these cool rubber studs in there, but ultimately it's just slightly less comfortable than say like the Duke or the Legend, other Thursday Chelsea boots. Uh, it's still a great boot. Uh, if I was going to get this again, I would get it in just the plain black leather, the, the smooth black leather. I think it's a really classy look. I wish there was a pull tab. I spend my whole life complaining about pull tabs on Chelsea boots, but then when I get one that doesn't have one, when they give, you know, you give the people what they want and it turns out they didn't even want that. So number 10, Thursday Cavalier, ultimately really good boot. But when you compare it to some of the other offerings, even from Thursday, I think it falls a bit short on that, but I still like it, still a word on it. Next on my list, this is a pretty classy black Chelsea. This is box calf leather. It's really, really nice. This is a Blake Stitch boot. It is the Ace Marks Troy. So Ace Marks, they don't get a lot of attention. I have not seen much of anything about them. They're a pretty quiet brand, but this Chelsea boot right here, it kind of reminded me a little bit about of Jack Irwin uh, earlier on the list, but they're more high quality. The leather is definitely superior on the Ace Marks Troy here than the Jack Irwin. But again, there's not a ton of personality in this boot, but you do get that excellent leather. The price was right in the middle. There's nothing really distinct about this boot. It does have a cool leather sole, but yeah, Ace Marks Troy, good boot, but ultimately I think there are more distinctive boots out there. Next on my list, this one right here, this is definitely a more work style Chelsea. It's got the commando sole with the heavy rubber lugs. So this is definitely a beefy boot. It has a stitch down construction. This is the Bordon Isidro Chelsea boot. Now this boot is really, really well built. Uh, it's got the veg tan leather insole, which is a thick piece of leather too. It's got the huge commando sole right here. Of course, the stitch down construction. You've also got really fantastic leather as well. But everything about this boot is really, really well done. It's well built. It's a very sturdy boot, but ultimately like I, just the style, I don't know that I like work Chelsea's all that much. I think if I'm going with the Chelsea boot, I want something slim, I want something narrow. I want something that is a lot more dressy as opposed to the work style. Although I do I do see the point there. This is kind of personal preference. In terms of actual quality, Bordon, they do an incredible job. They make really well-made boots out of Columbia for a very fair price too. I, got, I gotta say that as well. So value for money, excellent. This style just isn't personally for me. So that's why they're a little bit lower on my list. We're about the halfway point here and I'm doing another, what I would call a work style Chelsea or something a little bit chunkier, not what you would typically think about with a Chelsea boot, which is a lot more slim, narrow, more dressy. 
mean? So this one, definitely beefier. It's got some rugged, resilient leather. If you haven't guessed it already, it is the Thursday Legend. And so this is number seven on my list. So something I really like about this boot, it is basically a winterized Chelsea boot. It has the Storm King outsole, which has got these heavy rubber lugs. This heel right here is super, super thick. That's about an inch and a half of rubber. So that's never really going to wear down. Of course, it has the Goodyear welt, 360 degrees, and the rugged and resilient leather that is basically waterproof. So I wore this a lot this past winter. It was raining a ton. I had a great time. It was really easy, easy to slip on. And one thing I like about this style of chunkier Chelsea compared to like say Bordon is that it does still have a slimmer, more narrow toe. So it fits better with my style personally. It's not so bulbous, it's not so wide, slim, narrow, still keeps some of that dressy factor going on, but is uh, also has kind of the beefy aspects of a bigger Chelsea. This next boot right here was my go-to everyday Chelsea boot for about a year and a half. And I was really into Chelsea boots at the time. So this boot got a ton of wear. It is my favorite Thursday Chelsea boot. It is the Thursday Duke at number six. Now the Thursday Duke, 360 degree Goodyear well construction, has a pretty thick rubber outsole right here. Uh, it's kind of a day night style. You also get the rubber heel cap, leather stack heel, and then you get a, another layer of rubber basically in the heel. So it's really, really comfortable. The EVA footbed, everything about this boot is built for comfort. So you can put in a lot of miles in it. And that's why I really like the Duke over the other Thursday boots just because it really balances that casual look with the dressy look. It's not really one of the either, especially with the honey suede. It's just such a good looking boot. And then when you add on top of that, the, all the shock absorption, the comfort, it's really easy to put in five or six miles of walking in a day. So if you're busy, if you're walking around town or you're going downtown or walking everywhere, this is a fantastic boot for putting in miles. And that's what I was doing a lot at the time. So this was definitely one of my favorite boots for a really long time. It is my favorite Thursday Chelsea boot and it is a fantastic option. That's why it's at number six on my list. Now we're kind of getting into like rarefied air. This is a boot I haven't talked about much on this channel, but it really, really surprised me. This is a whole cut Chelsea. It's from Meerman. And this boot is really, really excellent value for your money. It's got the double pull tabs, which I kind of like. And yeah, it's a it's a whole cut. It's a whole cut for under $300. And that is really, really rare. Meerman, I think they're owned by Carmina. They are a Spanish brand. Yeah, they just kind of came in and they're doing these kind of value driven European style boots. And this Chelsea is really close to being that next level but as we'll see with options number four three two and one they've all got the x factor the mirman is really close but it's not quite there that's why it is at number five on my list and let's get into number four next on my list this is an incredibly well built boot i got it in wax rough out as you can see a lot of the wax has kind of drifted out so it's got this nice fuzzy texture can't wait to put this on again in fall doesn't really work so well in summer. In fall, this is gonna look really good with a wide variety of outfits. Love that you have the natural midsole right here. It does have a kind of like recessed heavy lug sole. So it does have lots of traction. It still stays pretty narrow, pretty slim. So kind of similar to the Thursday Legend. It balances a dressy and rugged style, but this boot right here, this is the Grant Stone Chelsea, and this elevates all the elements of quality, just kind of go up to 10, essentially. So you are gonna pay a little bit extra for that, but this is definitely the most well-built Chelsea boot that I've had on this list so far. Number four, the Grandstone Chelsea. The next on my list, this is not even a Chelsea boot. I got the zip boot, but I do think it is representative of this brand's Chelsea boots. This is one of the nicest boots I have ever put on my feet. It's exquisite, but it's only at number three. It is the Carmina zip boot. So Carmina, Spanish brand. The thing that I love most about this boot, it's a super sexy looking boot. This is a fantastic boot. It feels good. It is Goodyear welted, not Blake stitch, which is kind of surprising because this is so close to the actual vamp. And the fact that that is Goodyear welted, I don't even know how the craftsman like did that that's that's pretty incredible that they were able to do the goodyear welt without messing up the vamp so that's pretty incredible the craftsmanship is excellent this does use box calf leather it is pretty much a hole cut as well and then you have this whole side right there so this overall it could be up at number one but for me is number three just because the next two on my list fit my lifestyle a little bit more they offer something a little bit extra that i think is pretty phenomenal so Number three, the Carmina Zip. It's the most expensive boot I have on this list. It's probably one of the nicest boots I own across everything, but to me, it's still the third best Chelsea. Number two on my list, this boot right here, again, kind of similar with the Carmina. I have a Jodhpur. It's not a Chelsea boot, but the Jodhpur and the Chelsea, I happen to know, are, are almost identical, minus the uh, elastic. So this boot, 
right here. To me, it has a lot of the same things that the Carmina does. It, it, the leather feels similar. It's not as high quality, but it feels similar. The style, the shape is similar. It has a really exceptional construction, but it's just way cheaper. It's about like one third the cost. And this is the Beckett Simonon Douglas, or you can get the Beckett Simonon Bolton, which is the Chelsea boot version of this. But yeah, Beckett Simonon, they blow me away with their leather quality. This is a very comfortable boot. This one right here has lasted me, I think like three and a half years is how long I've had this one. And it still looks really, really good. So ultimately, while I do think the Carmina is definitely better, and if you have like a thousand dollars to spend on boots, get the Carmina. It's a really good looking boot. It has a couple subtle design things that just kind of push it over the edge. But to me, the value for your money that you get with the Beckett Simonon Douglas or the Beckett Simonon Bolton, it's just so good that this is definitely my second favorite Chelsea boot that I own. That only leaves one Chelsea boot to rule them all. And that, of course, is one coming from down under. So the worst Chelsea boot on my list comes from Australia and the best, in my opinion, also comes from Australia. This is the RM Williams Comfort Craftsman. And the reason why this is my favorite Chelsea boot that I own of all the ones that I own, lots of amazing Chelsea boots, is it does have this square toe. I like the cork nitrile outsole. It's got a leather stacked heel and it's really, really comfortable on the inside with the addition of it being basically a whole cut Chelsea boot. I also like the double pull tabs. That's just something I enjoy. And the shape itself is a little bit more refined, a little more interesting than what you would get with some of the other Chelsea boots. So this one also costs a pretty penny, but to me, it's totally worth it, especially because when I'm wearing Chelsea boots, it's a lot of times if I'm going to conferences or if I'm going, I'll be on my feet for, you know, 10 to 12 hours a day. I'll be walking around a lot throughout a city. And so I'll be putting in eight miles, something like that, like a, a lot of walking. And so when I'm doing that, when I'm wearing a Chelsea boot, I need something, or if I'm at a wedding or something like that, I need a boot that I can last 12 hours in. I can walk eight miles in something that's going to be comfortable. And to me, the RM Williams Comfort Craftsman is one of the best looking Chelsea boots. Like this and the Carmina to me are like, Pretty much, I put them on the same level in terms of looks, but the RM Williams Comfort Craftsman, it's just a little more comfortable. I can walk a lot longer in it. And so ultimately, that's why it is my favorite Chelsea boot.